What's up guys, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video and today's we'll be going over Zerg's location and inventory this time around and basically all you have to do is go to the flashpoint which is the EDZ this time around and you'll be able to see Zer's little, oh I would say emblem or logo or whatever, you can actually track it so you know where to get him or know where to find him and whatnot. but yeah, let's just see what he has this time around, hopefully, oh I did not mean to do that, okay. All right, let's see what he has. Obviously, he has the faded engram. Uh, basically, you spend 97 legendary stars. If there's an exotic that you don't have, this will give you the chance to grab that exotic. So if we only have one exotic left to grab, this will give you it. I'm pretty sure that's guaranteed. But yeah, let's move on. Looks like the hunter this time around has the young Amakara spy. And let's check out the perk. Wish Dragon Teeth increases trip mine grenade duration and marks enemies damage at their blast. So trip mine, very powerful grenade, very good for holding down zones. And while this yeah, I, I actually use these in Destiny 1. It actually give you two trip mines and make them last longer, but having that uh, mark when you blast enemies is really good. It's like having Foe Tracer without having to use Foe Tracer to where you can track your enemies. But yeah, it's not bad if you like using, I would say, trip mines or even Golden Gun. All right. For the Titan, we have the Mask of the Quiet one. Let's check out his perk and pretty serious Dread of Visage. So, grants melee, grenade, and class ability energy when damage void ability kills grant health regeneration. Obviously, this is more, catered more toward uh, the Sentinel Titan. I usually do this with the bottom tree because uh, the bottom tree, you don't get health regeneration back versus the top tree where every time you get a melee, your health comes back. This is really good if you want to rock that other subclass tree because any like void ability kill that you get, you get health regeneration automatically anyway. So, I would say this is really good for the Code of the Aggressor. For the Warlock, it looks like we have the Wings of Sacred Dawn. Its perk is Tome of Dawn. When Dawn Blade is equipped, aiming weapons while in midair suspend you there for a short time. Precision hits extend this effect's duration. So this is actually a little different than the Atumina Sky ability where you get to float in air. The thing is, this allows your weapons to be more accurate in midair. It doesn't allow like a lot of accuracy, but it allows more accuracy than you would for a Tomb of the Sky. Tomb of the Sky is only really good for in-air weapons like SMGs and sidearms and stuff like that. This allows you to use a pulse rifle in mid-air. It allows you to use an auto rifle with mid-air and have, like I would say, better accuracy. Plus, if you hit precision hits, it extends its duration, which is pretty solid. So if you want to have some of that mid-air gameplay, I highly recommend using that. Finally, we have the weapon, which is the Telesto this time around. Let's check out the perks here. So it comes with unplanned reprieve, fusion projectiles, attach it, detonate with a delayed void blast. And then it's straight, you have Harbinger's Pulse. Multi-kills with this weapon, immediately reload your equipped kinetic and energy weapons from reserves. Now, I actually have the ornament for this thing called the Reef and Ruins. And yeah, I really like this thing. It's really good for PvE activities, especially when you run out of, I would say, ammo in your uh, kinetic energy slots. All you have to do is kill a few ads with this thing and boom, they're automatically reloaded. And what's really cool in PVP is you can actually hold down some zones with this thing. So if you're playing control and you see on the radar, somebody's about to come around the corner, you don't have to shoot it at them. You can shoot it at the ground. And if they run into it, that they'll die. They'll die from that. It's really good for holding down zones. Uh, actually the projectiles, I like it does say that there's range here, but you can actually launch them all the way across the map. It's just Obviously, the farther away people are, the less accurate this thing's going to be. I can't wait to get this thing masterwork, which is going to be freaking awesome. But yeah, I really like using this weapon. I actually dropped a weapon review on it. If you want to go check that out, please do. Obviously, last thing for Zer, three of coins. Increases your chance for exotic engrams. Uh, last four hours. Um, obviously, not a lot of viability, like unless you really want to hunt for exotic engrams. But I really don't see the point right now. Obviously, Zer definitely needs some upgrades for the future. And yeah, I'm ready for Warmind, y'all. All right, guys, we're coming to the end of the video. If you want to help support me, there'll be a link below to say best way to support me. I'll take you to a four-minute video. It's not a patron or anything like that. I think it's a lot better in patron. I believe you guys get a lot more out of it than if I were to do patron. But if you don't want to do it, you can always like and subscribe to the channel as well. And comment what you guys want to see below. Like, I'm making content for you guys. So literally, whatever you guys want to see, I will be making content on that. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. We'll catch you next time.